Hello again, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for joining us. This afternoon we're thinking about planting roses. We have a small flower bed in our garden, just here, that we've not been happy with for some time. It's been a little bit drab and disappointing. We've decided to make a fresh start by turning it into a rose bed. Now we've decided that we're going to have some David Austin roses. If you live in the UK, you will obviously have heard of David Austin roses. Outside the UK, you may not, but they're very world famous, David Austin roses. And we've chosen four lovely varieties of David Austin roses. The first one that we've, show, that we've chosen is called the Mayflower. The second one is called Harlow Car. The third one is called Susan Williams Ellis. And the final one is called England's Rose. Yeah. Now one of the reasons why we've chosen these four very beautiful roses is that they are pretty highly resistant to disease and we think they're going to do really really well in this bed. Now each of these roses we watered them very well last night. It's essential when you plant roses from pots that it's very very damp, very very wet. And so now we're going to go across we're going to plant some of these lovely roses. You can see that we've already done a lot of preparatory work. We've dug the bed over and we've excavated four holes that the roses are going to go into. Now each of the holes started off as being about 14 to 16 inches square at quite a good depth, quite much more deeper than the actual pot. And so we dug the holes out, really loosened the soil up, particularly at the bottom, and we put quite a lot of organic fertiliser and other goodies into the hole. The holes don't look that big now because I've already started to backfill the holes. And I'm backfilling the holes with a mixture of compost and good garden topsoil. So we will start off then by actually putting some of these roses in. We'll start off with this one here. Let's just take it out of the pot. Okay. What I'm going to do to begin with is, I'm just going to give it a dusting with tree and shrub planting feed. This contains the mycorrhizal fungi which is supposed to be very very beneficial to the roots when you first plant a rose bush. Let's try that. Let's see how we get on with that one. Okay, so we're going to go across to our bed and we're going to just put it down into the previously excavated hole. As I said, I've started to backfill it already with some really rich soil. What I'm aiming to do is to get the sort of bottom part of the stems there, where you can see the layer of the compost from the pot, about an inch or two below the surface of the bed. Let's start off. Let's see how we get on. Let's put some of this really nice stuff in to begin with. Good, now I'm going to put some more of this soil in. I think that's more or less the sort of level that I'm looking for. 
I'll have a look at it again a little bit later, but I think that's more or less it. So let's go on to the second one then. The second one, Harlow car. Let's take that out. And again, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of the shrub planting over it. Let's move across. Let's position it nicely in the hole again. I think that should be just about right. Let's put some of the soil in. Let's firm it in nicely. And put some of this soil around as well. Let's try and get the right level. Okay, I'll look at it more carefully later, but I think for a first attempt that's reasonably good. The last two rows this is going to be planted by now. Yeah, I will plant Susan William Ellis. Quite nice. Oh, it's heavy. There we go. It's bigger than me. And I put this one. Yeah, that's up from there. This one first. All of these are shrub roses. Mm -hmm. oh, very beautiful David Austin shrub rose. My first rose I ever planted. No, <laughs> first rose that Nigel's ever planted. Let's see how it goes. Ugh. Is that enough? So everything nice and well. Yeah. Now put the soil around. Oh. Remember the bottom of the stem needs to be about an inch to two inches below the top of the soil now. All right, I think that's it. Just... Okay. okay. Next. Ooh. Next one my, will be England's Rose. Ooh! This might be my favorite now. England's Rose. Find that spider in your right uh, Wellington boot. <laughs> mm. Mm. There's no spider. Yes, there was. Oh. No. You kidding me? <laughs> okay. Well. You can even step on it if you want to step around. <laughs> All right. Get the level right. I don't think I can level it. It's not in the middle. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, sorry. Okay, very well done. So we've now planted our four David Austin shrub roses. We obviously need to give them a very thorough watering. Mm. We need to hose pipe and we're going to give them a really, really good soaking. They will need a lot of care and attention to begin with. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, as they are such strong plants, they will soon grow away and they will do well in the even shot we're really looking forward to having a lovely rubber bed outside our bedroom window. Thank you very much for watching our video about planting roses. and We hope that you might plant some roses yourself this year. We very much appreciate people watching our channel and we really do appreciate people subscribing.
At the end of our last video, our strawberry video, we talked about the 200 draw that we're organising. We explained that on Friday we're having a draw for those people who have subscribed to our channel and have made a comment about our strawberry video. If you haven't yet entered the competition, there is still time. There's still time to enter the draw. So all that you've got to do is view the video about the strawberries and put some sort of a comment there and you'll be entered into the draw on Friday. There'll be a prize of National Garden Scheme gift vouchers for people who live in the UK. If the winner is somebody living outside the UK, then it will obviously be an equivalent prize appropriate to that country. Please have a go. We're really looking forward to drawing someone's name out on Friday. Thank you very much.